Welcome to the History of Simple Things, where we delve into the fascinating history behind the little things that shape our world. Hey there, tennis enthusiasts and curious minds. Ever wondered why tennis balls have that fuzzy exterior? Today, we're diving deep into the world of tennis balls to uncover the fascinating reasons behind their iconic fuzziness and how they are meticulously crafted. Before we delve into the fuzz, let's take a quick trip back in time to explore the origins of tennis balls. The game of tennis, as we know it today, has evolved significantly since its inception. Tennis originated in France during the 12th century, initially played with the hand and later with rackets. Early tennis balls were made from a variety of materials, including leather stuffed with hair, wool, or cork. As the sport gained popularity and evolved, so did the tennis balls. By the 19th century, tennis balls were predominantly made from rubber, thanks to the invention of vulcanized rubber by Charles Goodyear in 1839. This breakthrough led to the production of more durable and standardized tennis balls, setting the stage for the modern game we know today. Now, let's get to the heart of the matter. Why are tennis balls fuzzy? The fuzzy exterior of a tennis ball serves multiple crucial functions, primarily related to the ball's aerodynamics, control, and playability. When a tennis ball is struck, the fuzz, or nap, creates friction with the air. This friction generates a layer of air around the ball, which significantly influences its flight characteristics. The fuzz enhances the ball's aerodynamics by increasing drag, which in turn slows down the ball's speed. This deceleration is essential for maintaining control over the ball during play. Without the fuzz, tennis balls would travel at much higher speeds, making the game much more challenging and less enjoyable. The fuzz also helps to stabilize the ball's flight, reducing wobbling and ensuring a more predictable trajectory. Another critical aspect of the fuzziness is its impact on spin. Tennis players rely heavily on spin to control the ball's movement and placement on the court. The fuzzy surface interacts with the racket strings and the court surface, allowing players to generate topspin, backspin, and sidespin. This interaction is crucial for executing various shots, from powerful serves to delicate drop shots. Creating a tennis ball is a meticulous process that involves several stages, each contributing to the ball's final characteristics. Let's take a closer look at how these iconic fuzzy spheres are made. Rubber Core Production the journey of a tennis ball begins with the production of its rubber core. The core is typically made from a blend of natural and synthetic rubber, which is mixed with chemicals and other additives to achieve the desired properties. The rubber mixture is then molded into hollow hemispherical halves. Molding the core. These rubber halves are vulcanized, a process that involves heating them with sulfur to create a strong and elastic bond. Once vulcanized, the two halves are joined together to form a complete rubber core. This core is the heart of the tennis ball, providing its essential bounce and resilience. Felt covering. The fuzzy covering of a tennis ball is made from a special type of felt, usually composed of wool and nylon fibers. This felt is responsible for the ball's aerodynamics, control, and durability. The felt is manufactured by blending the fibers together and then bonding them to a backing material using heat and pressure. Cutting and shaping. The felt is cut into precise shapes, typically two figure eight pieces that will be wrapped around the rubber core. These pieces are carefully aligned and then stitched together using a strong adhesive. This stitching is crucial for ensuring the felt remains securely attached to the core during play. Pressurization. One of the defining characteristics of a tennis ball is its internal pressure. To achieve the desired bounce and performance, the ball is pressurized to around 12 psi pounds per square inch. 
This is done by placing the ball in a pressurization chamber and sealing it under pressure. This step ensures that the ball maintains its optimal bounce throughout its lifespan. Quality control and testing. Before tennis balls are packaged and shipped, they undergo rigorous quality control and testing. This includes checking for uniformity in size, weight, and bounce. Balls that do not meet the strict standards are discarded, ensuring that only the best quality balls reach the market. Packaging and distribution. Once the balls pass quality control, they are packaged into cans or tubes, often pressurized to maintain their internal pressure until they are opened. These packages are then distributed to retailers and tennis clubs worldwide, ready to be used by players of all skill levels. The process of making tennis balls has evolved over the years, with advancements in technology and materials playing a significant role. Modern tennis balls benefit from innovations in rubber chemistry, manufacturing techniques, and even computer-aided design. These advancements have led to improvements in consistency, durability, and performance. The fuzz on a tennis ball is not just a random layer of fibers, it's a carefully engineered component that significantly influences the ball's performance. With the wool providing durability and the nylon contributing to the ball's aerodynamics and control. The construction of the felt is also crucial. The fibers are woven into a dense, durable fabric that can withstand the rigors of intense play. The felt is then treated with various chemicals to enhance its performance characteristics, such as resistance to moisture and abrasion. One interesting aspect of the fuzz is its role in the ball's interaction with different court surfaces. For example, on clay courts, the ball picks up particles of clay, which can affect its speed and bounce. On grass courts, the ball tends to skid more, while on hard courts, the ball bounces higher and faster. The fuzz helps to moderate these effects, providing a more consistent playing experience across different surfaces. So, there you have it. The fascinating story behind why tennis balls are fuzzy and how they are made. From their humble beginnings to the intricate manufacturing process, every aspect of a tennis ball is designed to enhance the game we love. The next time you pick up a tennis ball, take a moment to appreciate the science, technology, and craftsmanship that go into creating these remarkable spheres. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the world of tennis balls. And as always, keep playing, keep exploring, and keep the love for tennis alive. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.